Wes Turnbull reporting from Langley, British Columbia for RCTV. We're out here in the parking lot watching a little drift action. We're talking to James Anderson here. I wanted to get back into the hobby and my daughter was uh, really interested in drifting. So we started about two years ago. For drifting, the rules we use are basically the same rules as full size. We have a lead car and a chase car. The chase car follows the lead car and you're supposed to keep as close as you can without passing them or making any contact. Is there a time limit on laps or? We don't usually run laps. It's uh, start to finish on a short course battle. Mm -hmm. I'm running an X-Ray T2007. Just put a one-way in the front, basically the car is stock. Right. I'm still running the metal hydrides, but I'm planning to go to LiPo one day. Brushless or brushed motor? Still brushed. Still uh, brushed. With the one-way for drifting, the brushed motors work good because they're, when you let off the throttle, you have more drag and it helps the back end swing out more. There's lots of different compounds. We have a gentleman with the 110 drift that uses a polypropylene compound and he makes them. And you can even buy ABS, but they're pretty slippery. We've got uh, Cal Franks here. He's got a pretty unique vehicle that he's scratch built. This used to be a gas-powered Savage. It looks like a Baja to me, though. Yeah. So what have you done to this, Cal? Uh, it's a Savage XL with a seven-inch uh, stretch chassis, uh, dual 2750 uh, new motors, dual monsters, and a big uh, 6500 uh, four-cell LiPo. Designed the chassis myself and uh, found a guy and had it cut out with a water jet. It seems to work okay. I've been ripping pinions out of the diffs and. So far it's okay, we fixed the drive shaft last night, so. Yep, basically discovering what horsepower will do to parts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're talking to Darren Vaughn here about his car. And he's run something just a little bit different. I see a lot of Japanese tin out here. You're running classic American iron. Got to run the old school muscle. That's all there is to it. So you got a 1970 Barracuda body on the, what chassis you running? Basically, it's an X-ray uh, T2R. And uh, the only thing really modified about it is the drift tires. Other than that, it's a vintage spec racing car. It's got a lower KV motor. It's not super fast, but uh, drifting, you don't really need a lot of speed. So basically, you can take anything off the shelf from a regular touring car, anything so oh, have drift tires on it battery, very much so go yeah. out and slide. yep absolutely and a lot of the drifting guys will detail their cars they'll put interiors and lights and that kind of thing and that's part of the fun of it too is making a it's part of the scale scale appearance okay we're talking to sydney anderson about her drifting career here Basically, she's kicking her dad's butt all around the racetrack, from the sound of it. So you lead your dad around by the front of the car on the track, do you? Yeah. Yep. And what kind of car do you drive? Um, I have an RS4. An RS4, so HPI product. Yeah. Do you want to do a little demonstration for us and talk us through driving? Sure. There it is, Sydney leading her dad around the track again. Good slide. your dad around the track again today Sydney congratulations and way to show them how the girls do it so that's it for drifting for today from Langley well thanks Westerly West for all that great RC racing next week we're heading to Chatham you want planes we got big bigger and the biggest check it out Chatham Air Show next week folks take care RC TV your radio controlled authority has been brought to you in part by big boys with cool toys OffRoadRC.ca, Canada's premier RC site, and X10 Productions, capturing the outdoors one frame at a time.